Hi YouTube, uh, I thought I'd do a little uh, video of the heat press I just got uh, off eBay. It is a 15 by 15 um, semi-auto heat press and it is the draw style. And I will pop up the eBay seller I bought this from. They sell quite a lot of these things. Um, and I'll give you my initial overview of it and everything else. It is very heavily constructed, although um, the uh, the bottom platen was definitely tilted uh, way off to the side when I first got it, uh, misaligned. Uh, there are two machine screws on the bottom that you can loosen. You will need your Allen wrenches, and uh, then you can straighten that out. Uh, then I found that actually it it was maybe not misaligned. <laughs> Uh, the top platen is actually misaligned. They probably aligned the bottom platen to the top platen regardless of the fact that it wasn't aligned to the actual drawer. So I aligned it to the actual drawer because it's going to be easier for me for, for setup and um, the small amount of misalignment around the edges is not going to matter to me as much. But uh, and, uh, another thing is the uh, I did oil and lubricate the, uh, the slides on this. There are uh, actually four ball bearing slide points that you can see. Uh, it definitely, even even after oiling, it's not as smooth as uh, something that you would buy made from uh, you know, made in the USA or Japan or Germany. It's uh, it's definitely Chinese quality, um, made to be probably more functional than uh, precise. Um, the press itself. Notice there's a magnet there. That's what that, on this one it's a semi-auto. The magnet, when it's under power, will lock it down and then release after the set time. The magnet is slightly misaligned, but again, it seems to do the job. Uh, I know on various forums, uh, some people say that they have a problem with this not releasing. Uh, mine seems to be releasing just fine, so uh, I, I haven't experienced any issues with that. So now we're going to go ahead and turn it on. I'm going to see if I can get in here. I don't know if you can see it. There's still protective tape around. I'll take that off. I don't know if you can see it, but uh, it is marked Celsius. And there is nothing in this to switch between Celsius and Fahrenheit. However, the actual temperature readout seems to be in Fahrenheit, even though it's marked Celsius. Uh, you have your setting controls. You can set the heat. I have it set to 380 there. You set your time. Set to. Uh, I'll set it down here so you can see it auto open. I'll set it to 15. And of course, this takes time to heat up. Uh, this has a 1400 watt element at 6 amps. Uh, it takes about 25 minutes to get to full temperature. Let's show you how the the auto setting works. Okay, you see the the magnet locks down. It's counting down. Two, one, zero. Okay, so I'm satisfied with that. That works fine. Uh, what I will say, a couple points. I used my infrared heat gun here. Once this got up to temperature after 25 minutes, um, you know, the setting said 380, the temperature gauge said 380. The readings across the platen uh, vary, and it is a Teflon coated platen, by the way, and they do include, include a, a Teflon sheet, and the bottom pad is reversible. It's not stuck down, so it's reversible. But uh, the readings across the platen varied by about 15 degrees, and, the, and it was much hotter than what showed on the readout. Uh, the readout was showing 380, and uh, I was getting uh, platen readings with the, with the digital thermometer of anywhere between like uh, 402 and 420. So that's a pretty significant difference. I mean, when you when you have uh, you know 20, 30 degree difference, uh, that's pretty significant. And I don't know if that doesn't appear to be adjustable anywhere. Uh, I did uh, email the seller about that. Um, so. You know, moral of the story, I guess, uh, get yourself one of these heat guns from Harbor Freight. I got mine on sale for 20 bucks. Uh, they normally cost, I think, 50 bucks or something like that. And you can usually find them on sale for 30. I was lucky enough to get it with a coupon. 
uh, and everything for, for 19.99, and it's very accurate. Uh, the other thing that I wanted to mention is I'll show you the instructions that came with this. Okay, if you if you don't count the the initial picture page, the instructions are all of two pages printed one side, and they are written in your typical uh, Chinese English, what I will what I will call Chinese English. Um, it is understandable, but it's it's not fluid, and uh, they probably there there probably could be additional things that they put in there. Uh, they do mention some uh, some working times. I don't think we. No, it's not going to focus. Standard working times for very various materials, but they're all given in Celsius, and of course. This doesn't read in Celsius. Uh, it supposedly reads in Fahrenheit, even though it's marked Celsius. You'll notice also the temperature gauge, the uh, thing they show in the instructions, actually uh, is different. It's different from the electronics that they actually have on the press. The one they show in the instructions actually has a setting where you can switch between Celsius and Fahrenheit. Uh, this press does not have that. So. Uh, once again, uh, I'm glad I got uh, the draw style because uh, it does come out enough. It doesn't come out completely. It's not completely, it doesn't pull completely beyond the uh, top platen, but it definitely pulls out enough so that it's very comfortable to work in. Uh, I think uh, I would have been very unhappy getting a traditional clamp style where I had to, to reach all the way in there under it. So, uh, again, it's. Uh, you know, fit and finish is is probably what I would expect from a bargain Chinese product. Uh, it seems to me like it'll probably get the job done. Uh, just don't expect the same level, uh, you know, that you're going to get from an American-made press or, or something like that, because that's not going to happen. But again, it is it is heavy duty. You got quarter-inch steel. Uh, the thing weighs over 70 pounds. Um, you know, and uh, I think for, for what I paid for it, I, I paid, it was on sale, the seller had it on sale at 20% off, and I paid like, uh, I think it was 359 for this. I think they normally sell it for for about 50 bucks more or something like that. But, uh, you know, still, I'd say it's still a pretty good bargain. It seems like it uh, it will probably do the job just fine. And hopefully this was helpful to you guys. Again, I will... will uh, print the uh, seller name somewhere in the video so that you can see that. Alright, thanks a lot.